Hello, this is H.E. Baby, and welcome back to Let's Play for Xanadu! Last time, we revived the spring to the east there, and got our elixir back, and... I got the wing boots last time too, right? Good, good. That's really what I came here for, the wing boots. But now, I'm almost dead here! Whatever shall we do? How will I get out of here? Well, here's my little secret. First, intentionally die. It'll use the elixir that we just got there, restore us all the fall. Then, get out of there, and grab another elixir. You could also use a red potion if you had one, but I sold all of mine, so, whoops. Now we gotta get out of here. I've already killed the boss, I don't feel the need to kill him again. Let's just get out of here. Be ready to use your magic here. Ha! Yeah, you gotta push him back really fast, or he's just gonna rush you. And then, just keep on uh, hitting his head with your sword there. Voila, we're out of here safe and sound. Hooray! Let these guys get past you. Okay, we got a little magician guy there. He doesn't want to play, that's fine. Kill him real fast. Get this guy to go as far to the left as possible. And then rush to the right. And then you can go under him, safe and sound. Haha! -ha! All right. Now, there's a little trick that I'm going to be using here that uh, I, I actually... I didn't figure out the programming and how this works, but I did figure out this little trick on my own, although I've heard others figured it out too. So I'm not the inventor of this, but, well, anyway, this is what I call the wing boots trick. You go down here, and we got these guys. Now when you kill all of these guys, you can get a wing boot that ends up right here. But I didn't win it this time, so let's keep on going back and try that again. This one you kill with your sword, that one you kill with your magic, and voila, we got the wing, another pair of wing boots. So that's 2,800 gold that we just saved there, or 1,400 if you want to resell. But what if we want to get more, like I do? One, two, three, four. Re-enter the screen four times. And now I gotta kill that guy, but that's okay. And voila, we get another pair of wing boots. And you can do that over and over and over again until you completely refill your inventory. But I only want to get one more pair, I think. How many do we get? Yeah, we got three. Let's get one more. I think you only really need two, but I'm just going to get an extra one just in case. Maybe I need the gold, or maybe I need just another pair of wing boots. What's over here? Whoa! Yeah, one of those guys again. But anyway, we want to visit this guy. What are you doing in here anyway? Are you in charge of the place? Oh, yeah, they were kind of telling us about that. We were supposed to go there first, and then go here to get a key item from him, but I didn't do that because I didn't feel like grinding for even more gold to buy that first pair of wing boots. I think it's just easier to do it this way. But if you want to grind the gold for the wing boots, and then do that first, and then you only have to make one trip into here, hey, go nuts. Whatever works for you, man. But anyway, uh, so yeah, now we gotta go over there. We have the wing boots. We can make it. Let's just jump all the way to the right. Let these guys go right over me. And now let's revive spring number two. Now at this part, I want to be a little careful, because I have limited time on the wing boots. So let's equip them, press down and B I think it is. Yes, okay, do that. Now press and hold A and up. Haha, -ha, we can fly! I can show you the world and sing off key. But yeah, um, yeah, just get up here. Here's where the other spring is. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Yeah, let's go. Hmm. What? Oh. What's a Poseidon? Well, uh, he means poison, obviously, but, uh, yeah. I wonder where that poison came from. Hmm, I wonder. Well, we'll learn a little more about that later, but for now, I don't know what's with this guy, but the spring is ready, so now we can get out of here. Let's get out of here. Go, 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 go! I want to run back. Keep on running. 
I want to get back up to the town before my wing boots run out. Okay, go, go, go. Come on. Get up there. Get up there. Get up there. I don't want to have to go walk all the way around to the left again. Okay. Phew. Okay, well, now we're back. Uh, game. Thank you. Wing boots. Oh, there we go. What a horrible night to have a curse. I mean, uh, the, the wing boots ran out of power there. Yeah. But anyway, uh, oh, we have a meat shop in here, don't we? Uh, where is it? Meat, meat, meat. There you are. Yeah, that should be cheaper than the hospital there. I'd like to, uh, uh, give my money to the local business establishments. But anyway, um, uh, yeah, that ought to do. That'll be fine. But I do need to get another jack key in order to get back into that tower there. Because I need to talk to that guru. So, let's do that. Let's see, how much do I got? I got enough money. Let's see, let's go with one jack key, and I'm gonna get, hmm, how many of those uh, wing boots do I got? I'm gonna use one of them now, so that means I have six slots left, so one jack key. Yeah, I'm gonna go for three queen keys. I think you only really need two, but I'm gonna get three anyway, because I know there's an optional area that you can go to, and just in case I change my mind, I might go there. There's nothing really important in there, though. I think it's like uh, a, a red potion or, or something stupid. But I'll go for it anyway. But yeah, uh, well, as you can guess, as you well, progress through the game, you're going to need more and more expensive keys. So, how many is that now? I hope that's three. Good, good. Okay, and eventually I will buy some more red potions and stuff. Now here's a little way you can refill on your health there without having to pay some money. Kill that guy, get a little bread, go back. Get out, go back over here, kill him again, get the bread. We're almost back up to full. Hooray! Okay, so now let's get back up to the tower there again. So yeah, if you don't want to have to make the second trip, you'd have to buy a pair of wing boots. I suppose I could have done that. Might have saved time in the LP, but oh well, too late now. But, well, I just thought that this would be easier. Nuts. I wanted to kill that guy. Not that I really need the experience. I suppose I could have explained earlier, uh, when you gain levels, like ranks and stuff like that, you... What is it? Uh, you don't gain stats, like an RPG or anything like that. All it does is affect what you restart with when you use your mantra. That's all. Come jump over me. Okay, now I want to fly back up there. Let's use another pair of wings, shall we? Oh yeah, and that potion there? That's poison, but I suppose it should be obvious. If you want to win more wing boots now, you can do that. But I'm not going to. Okay, how's it going? A key, huh? But yeah, once you revive that spring in the sky there, we get the key of Joker. Alright. Oh, yeah, he'll give you another one if you lose that one somehow, or use it, but then forget to do something. Mm, you know what I'm talking about, viewers. Get them both over there. Nuts. Nuts, they're out of sync. That's okay. But anyway, okay, so. There we go. Okay, so, first order of business now. Before reviving the last spring, I need to restock on HP. So let's go do that. Nuts. There is something else that I want to do too. Uh, you see the door in the uh, lower right there? That's where we gotta use the Joker Key. I suppose the way you're supposed to figure it out is as you're going to that first spring there in the sky, or well, that was the second spring for me, you check on the door and you see it says you need the key of Joker, so that's probably how you're supposed to figure it out. But anyway, what I want to do is I want to get a particular item before going in there. Okay, that didn't do it. Let's just go down, go back up, try and win it again. So basically every four times you go onto a screen, you can get an item, like this one. 
Okay, let's get everything ready. We're at full. We got the key of Joker there. Okay, now we got an ointment, so we can't get hurt by... Uh, what is it? Uh, physical attacks. And then we can go in here for boss time! And we got this guy again, but since I have the ointment, I don't have to worry about taking hits. So, hooray! Wow, that was enormously easier than I thought it would be. Okay, sounds like a plan. So that's the last of the springs, the elves are saved, and that's all. I hope you've enjoyed Let's Play for Xanadu. No, no. But uh, one thing that's a real bastard move that they do, you have to talk to him again and get the Ring of Ruby from him in order to progress with the plot. If you don't do that now, you'll have to go through that tower all over again and get another key of Joker to get back in here and get the Ruby Ring. So, yeah, they don't really tell you about that. So. Oh, well. But anyway, we're done with that. Let's get out of here. Hopefully, the ointment will last long enough for me to uh, survive. Okay, phew! Yeah, that really helps out a lot against that guy there. Oh, oh, there we go. I think if you go to the right far enough, there is some enemies there that you can win a red potion from. Or maybe that's up in the sky. I forget exactly the screen where that happens. And the ointment is gone. Oh yeah, someone was saying, H.C. Bailey, on the last episode, when the, uh, who was it? Yeah, when the, uh, oh yeah, the projectile went through you, uh, that was because it, it the ointment actually pr protects you from projectiles, but if it hits your shield, you're still going to take a little damage there, so. I didn't know that. But, all right. So anyway, let's see, we... I want to stack up on some red potions now. And let's see, I should have, I think, two pairs of wing boots, so we should be in pretty good shape there. Uh, let's see, yeah, another red... Oh! You know what I want to do? I want to uh, equip one of those uh, queen keys. So let's equip that, and then I can buy even more red potions, all right. Because, yeah, I mean, at this point in the game, or up to now, the game's been pretty easy. After this point, not so much. So, we're gonna need those red potions. Or at least I am. Because, well, I'm just not that good at it. I mean, I'm not gonna die, don't get me wrong, I'm not horrible. I'm, just, I'm not good enough to get by without red potions all the time. So, there is no life spell in this game, unlike Zelda 2. So, yeah, this game, much more unforgiving in that respect. That's one way of putting it. But what awaits us inside the world tree itself? Find out next time on Let's Play Fazanadu! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day, and remember your mantra. <laughs>